Um, yeah, so Ben's pod is very good for a few reasons. Um, all the pods actually have the same top speed without boost. Oh, Bellius going with Bullseye. That's an interesting pick. Um, yeah, so our players are ready now. Um, yeah, so they have the same top speed without boost, but Ben has the fastest top speed when you are boosting. So there is an additive value and an additional acceleration. Which yeah. A, a new top speed, and that is the best for, for, with Ben, which is a good uh, one good factor about it. Um, okay, I just need to make sure, just checking what's happening here. So it looks like Ben, uh, sorry, Nacho was just doing a practice run there. Yeah, yeah. We just need to focus on the rules for a second, and we can. Uh... It seems now everything's right, and. Yeah. Nacho, no, not Nacho, and the the go has been given. So. Yeah, we're okay now. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, Ben has the best what we call boost thrust in that case. Uh, he also has a very very long boost, which is only bested by Mars Guo's pod, and that's a rather critical factor for the majority of tracks because it means you can boost for a long time. So even though his cooling isn't the best, it actually makes up for it by a long duration boost. Um, as well as that, I mean, he is fairly maneuverable and has pretty reasonable turning and good turn response. So in general, um, it's going to be the best pod on, on most tracks. There are a few additional variables, but those are some of the, the main ones. I mean, when it comes to some of the very twisty tracks, then we see uh, Bullseye's pod, which Bulls, uh, Bellius is currently playing with. Uh, yeah. is actually the best part for those tracks and uh, an unfortunate and quite a strange death from Bellius straight off there, he seemed to die to the floor I've not seen that too often <laughs> but, uh, that is the thing with this game, it is very very glitchy in places um, yeah. it's uh, very fast it's a very fast game too compared to any new full speed game it's like, uh, or any racing game general it's like the fastest game yeah it is a, it is very fast paced and there's a lot of a lot of corners per second yeah yeah it seems like Belias is losing quite hard in here because he's crashed a couple of few times now yeah he, 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 uh, he has a tough competitor here actually uh, Nacho yeah. the... so Nacho is like uh, sweeping the track the yeah, best he's he can. A, a pretty experienced player um, yeah. He also he also uh, uses the sl sliding method pretty well uh, compared to not uh, compared to Belios, He doesn't he doesn't even use the sliding method. Like I can only see <laughs> seen a, a death there. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. I don't. He won't be happy with that. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> But Nacho is very solid and uh, quite forward now, actually. Yeah, I think uh, Elias likes this track just because of the qualifying rounds. I think he feels uh, a bit more knowledgeable about it than most of the tracks, which which makes sense, actually. I, I, I think it's quite a, a very reasonable decision on his part. And uh, another death from Nacho through the shortcut, the notorious Ooh. arrow section. It seems both players actually know the track pretty well. It only appeared to me that Belios never really uses the sliding, or he never really slides. Yeah, it's possible actually. I, I hadn't paid particular attention to that. He barely uses it, but he does still use it, yeah. And from what I know, it's you've got a, sometimes you get a big advantage if you use the sliding. Yeah, although I think Bellius is improving. I mean, uh, just looking quickly, I, I think he got a 333 at Inferno, which uh, is 11 seconds up on his previous personal best there. It has uh, some damage on his right engine, which is not going to help. 132 on his last lap. 
on nachos and that stuff. And 137 on Leo's last map. So let's see who can last out the most the longest. Ah, and Nacho has his crash right now. It looks bad for him. Let's yeah. see if Rios can catch up to that. I don't think he likes that shortcut, but I, although I don't think anybody does, to be honest. Um, it's probably worth mentioning as well, um, we have two, including this round, we have one final uh, upcoming losers round. <laughs> should be played tomorrow. Um, at least that's when the deadline is. I don't know if that'll be extended. That will be between... Uh, and the throw and nectar and that's what you're talking about. So that should be the final losers round. We've already uh, said goodbye to Digital Unity and Cylinder from their matches. Um, and then that will conclude uh, the first round there. And um, these are uh, these are all best of nine rounds. So, or rather, you know, I think it's it's first of five. So the first person to win five races will be the winner. Um, although now, which is a little bit different to last year, is that the winners' semis um, and their onward will actually be best of 13. That's something else to bear in mind. And losers' semis and losers' finals will also be best of 13. So, all right, I get it. Yeah. First seven. And so, uh, before Belios could even finish the the last lap, he apparently crushed, crashed. And Nacho won the ma won this race with 4.34. Seems pretty solid to me. And Belios won it with 5.09. 9.89. Quite a difference there, in my opinion. Yeah, he was a bit of a disadvantage using uh, Bullseye's pod, actually. Um, although you do tend to see larger variances in this game than a lot of racing games, just because mm. of the nature, really. Um, so, Bellius is banning bulls, apparently. No, just kidding. He's banning bowls. Um, <laughs> he, he, told, he wrote bowl, bulls in track, in track, track. I can't even talk. <laughs> it's affected he me. Ba banned, yeah, yeah. He's, he wrote he banned bulls. <laughs> but he means bowls, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're seeing uh, a Bumpy's ban again from Nacho, and Bellius is taking us to the infamous Executioner. Ah, right. Everyone's favorite track. I've heard of the Executioner track, actually. Okay, so no forces. So again, we're seeing Bowles' pod ban this time, so we don't want to see any yellow pods. I, don't, I think there's only one yellow pod. It'd be funny if there's two. <laughs> um yep so that's all good all right leo's ready yeah bellius ready yeah waiting for nacho to catch up here oh do i do i pronounce it uh, wrong it's called billy bellius <laughs> I, I always said Belios. I think that, that's correct. I think that's correct. So Okay. Both ready and my stream hung up. That's not good. And yeah, now it's okay. And the match will start uh, race will start very soon. So in comparison to Need for Speed Most Wanted, we in Most Wanted we have many cars of course, but also car parts and performance tuning. And in contrast to Star Wars Episode One Racer, there, there we have no such characters like Ben or Bull, Bulls, <laughs> and instead we have a 
a thing called performance 